Hey guys, welcome back to Sports Card Teachers. We are doing another PSA slab reveal. Getting away from Pokemon. I know if you guys saw that already, you can go ahead and check. We'll see if that turns out to be a disaster or what. But uh, I'm going to hopefully go ahead and list those on eBay tonight. But now we're moving on back to some more slabs. And as you've been, if you've been watching, we've been getting a ton in. I had some of those specials that they ran and I just, I sent a lot of stuff in. So that's why there is a high number of slabs that you see and reveals that we've done because we sent in a lot. And um, we'll see if it pays off. Today I got about 40, this this batch was about 45-ish or something like that. I'll, I'll tally it up at the end. I don't know offhand. Primarily our guys. So T-Law, there's a little, there's some Joe Burrow, there's just some Justin Jefferson, one or two CD Lambs, a little bit of Herbert, Jordan Love, Jalen Hurts. So a lot of the 2020 rookies. And so we're going to go ahead and see what we got with the grades. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do that. It really does help us out and spread the word, let other people know. Because we love doing these reveals and we love to kind of share what we know. Not, not saying that sports card teachers really know a ton, but we do like to share anything we do know and we love to hear feedback from you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing if you already did do that. Let's get right into this video. Here we go. Let's start off. Let's we'll start with this pile right here. And it looks like a CD Lamb. Prism, silver, oh, silver, love it so much. I am gonna move pretty quickly on these. There was a nine on the silver. Silvers, obviously, if you're new to the game, silvers are hard to get tens in. Such a beautiful card, but they have come with some issues and uh, they are hard to get tens in, but we will take it. So that took a nine, moving a little faster. Another silver, Justin, Justin. Jonathan Taylor, gem mint 10. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Nice little card. He's back to playing, which is always nice to see as well. All right, looks like we got Tua here coming up. Vertex. Love these Vertex from the Chronicles boxes. And it took a nine. A little off-center maybe, just by looking at it briefly. Another Tua. So you're going to see a lot of these same guys. Took a nine on this prism. These prisms carry some weight because they're hard to get tens on. So nine on that. Another Tua silver. Nine. Took a nine on that. Man, of course, of the three silvers, the one that we didn't want to 10 on as much took the 10. So we'll keep moving on. Looks like we've got a burrow here. This is the burrow base. Sent a lot of these in, took, another, took a 10. Take that any day. Um, there's always that discussion. We do a video on that, about whether you to send in base or not. And um, so I'll make sure you check that out. Um, but I do like to send base in. So we'll talk about why I send base in. And uh, here we are, another 10 with that burrow. Oh, what do you know? Another gem mint 10. Now, this is actually the bronze. This isn't the regular base uh, from the Chronicles. All right, moving on, we got a Jamar Chase. This took an eight. Now, if you are new to grading, getting these patch cards graded to come out of 10 is very hard. Um, we've learned the hard way. Ralphie Boy and I have learned the hard way. Um, I haven't sent one in a while, but this one seemed in really great shape. But as you can see, it took an eight. Moving right along, we got another Tua, the Optic, rated rookie, took an eight. Disappointing there. Disappointing. All right, Garrett Wilson, love the silver prism. Uh, is in his college uniform, took a nine. Back to another Burrow, gem mint 10. Let's go, let's go. For a little second pile there. This was not the silver, this was the base score from the Chronicles box, and this took a nine. We got a regular that's so the dunruss not the optic but the dunruss gem mint 10 rated rookie well, looks like we, we're going on a little run of two of us here as i said i'll send a lot of two in we got a nine here from the luminance teal luminance teal we took another silver we took a nine what's that say i can't read eight took an eight on this silver such a beautiful card but as you said a little hard um here we go get our gridiron kings we took a nine on the burrow Back to the base burrow, and we got another gem mint 10. Love this card. The red, white, and blue prism. Took a nine. Justin Jefferson, optic rated rookie. You gotta just love these classic optic rated rookies. And we took a nine on that. So this is not the silver Dynagon. This is the regular Dynagon. Took a 10, gem mint 10. That is what we like. Took a nine on this one. These hurt. So when you take a nine on these, these do hurt. You do not end up making money on those. So that's a little disappointing. Gem Mint 10 on the Luminance Hertz. And we have a, what's well, a cool card? Took a Gem Mint 10 on this Garrett Wilson Prism Break. Pretty cool card. 
Okay, moving on to the next pile. Another Optic Rated Rookie took a nine. Prism Black took a nine. Sweet card. Ralphie Boy and I love the Prism Blacks. We love them. Love, especially from the 2020 year. 2021's in. 2022, they brought it back. Not bad. So we'll see what 2023 looks like. Uh, we got a 10 on this. This is the hobby, not the retail illusions. Silver took a nine on this Joe Burrow. Silver. And as you know, your Burrow just got injured. So we'll see what happens to his stuff because I got a lot of it. Um, so hoping it doesn't take a hit too bad. We got a nine on this legacy. Gem Mint 10 on the retail. There's the retail illusions. The, this is not the silver. And of course it took a 10. We like Justin Jefferson. So we sent that in. Trevor Lawrence. Now these cards, the king of cards, the cleat, you can see through them. These always are, they're notorious for print lines. So anytime you can get a 10 on these, definitely a nice card to get a 10 on. We took an eight on this in illusions, Herbert illusions. It's pointing. Trevor Lawrence, Dunn Russ, rated rookie. I seem to always get tens on these, which is great. They have significantly dropped. He needs to pick it up this year. Um, we have a Jalen Hurts illusions retail, gem at 10. We took an eight on this. Now, these, I think I have another one back to back. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. Look at these, okay? They're both eights. Ralphie Boy and I have checked out, and we can see if I can get the right angle on this one. You can see right there. Every one of these cards has, like, it's, I don't even know what you call it. It's not even a print line. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Every one of them has has it. And we've sent these in where they've gotten 10s, and then we sent them in to get 8s, okay? Um, we're done with them, but clearly, because this is not good when you get an 8 on these. But I think it all depends on who's grading, and that's a problem to us. We don't, we don't like that because it shouldn't be about who's grading, who knows the card better. Um, so that is one complaint of ours. If you look here, we took a nine on the base Chronicles. That's a little disappointing. Those are always disappointing to take a nine on. Gem Mint 10 on this one. Back to Hertz, Luminance 9. 10 on this Luminance Teal. Illusions from Jalen Hertz took a nine. Gem Mint 10 Retail Illusions. Nine on the Retail from Trevor Lawrence. Nine on this The Rookies. Love that card. Gem Mint 10, of course, on the Trevor Lawrence Done Russ rated rookie. 10 again. Told you. Every time I get those. Um, we took a 10 on the draft class. Kind of a cool card. I'm not sure how much money that's going to get me, but kind of a cool card, though. And last but not least, Jordan Love Clear Vision took a 9. So there you have it. There's our batch. Now, I wasn't counting, but I will count them up and give you guys the stats on this right around this time of the video. So you can kind of see what we did with these cards, how many 10s we got. As you can see, we did grade that 2020 class pretty hard because we do like it. And uh, I've got another batch coming in next week. So look forward to doing another PSA submission reveal. Ralphie Boy's got one too coming up. And uh, we're just going to look to continue to do that. And if there's any content you guys want from us, please let us know. We always are looking for new ideas. We want to educate. We are the sports card teachers. So we want to teach people how to buy, sell, grade cards so stay tuned for that thanks you thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe give this video a like and we will see you in the next video peace